Hi, I'm Maurice. And I'm Taylor. Welcome to Advanced Comics for July 4th, 2012, our nation's birthday. And with me this week is Taylor. A little no unknown fact about Taylor is that he does happen to have Samson-like powers, but recently he cut his hair, so he's feeling pretty weak. Let's get started with our first book, which is Batwing number 11. In this issue, Batwing is facing off against one of the baddest gangsters in Beijing, a dragon named Long. And um, Nightwing is going to be crossing over into this book with him. And we also get a new costume, some new gadgets on uh, Batwing, so check it out. Next we have Earth 2 number 3. Here, Alan Scott gets his powers in a way we haven't seen a Green Lantern get their powers before. Also, we have the debut of Hawk Girl, and Jay Garrett meets his first superhero. Aside from himself, that time that he looked in the mirror. And following that, we have He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, number one of six. This is a limited series, and in this universe, Skeletor has manipulated things. So he is the king of Castle Grayskull, and all of your Eternia warriors that you loved so dearly are now peasants. And Adam has been left to be a woodsman with only dreams of ever wielding a sword. So check out this hero's journey back to being He-Man. Enormous number one, the new one-shot from Image Comics, here, humanity fights for survival as the Earth spawns new creatures, enormous creatures. Between this and the massive, it's leading to be a pretty large summer, I'd say a uh, huge maybe. And then we have Hulk number 55. Hulk is facing off against Mayan gods. Some old Avengers are showing up to help him out, and in this book, the A-bomb is going to take a fall. Following that is our last book this week. Which makes me want to light the lights, start the music, put on makeup, and do things right. The Muppets number one, part of a limited four-issue series. They're going to put on a show. It's going to celebrate seasons. Yeah, the first yeah. season we're going to get is spring, and it's kind of odd since it is midsummer, but whatever, we're cool with that. That was our last book this week, so now we'd like to talk about some other things you might be interested in. The first of which is Before Watchmen. This series was uh, honestly feared by most people. We were afraid they were going to mess up the Watchmen universe and just screw up our favorite characters. And yet, with that anticipation, it seems that um, we were wrong. These books have been great, and <clears throat> if you haven't read them, I suggest you pick them up. Now, if you are interested in the Crimson Corsair, the story that's in the back of all the number one issues, you're going to need to pick up all the number one titles for Before Watchmen because it starts with the Minutemen and works its way through each of the number ones. But, like I said, it's a great series, definitely held to a high standard of writing, and mimics Watchmen very well, so check it out. Next up is uh, the season finale of Korra, which has been a great show, and we're sad that we only got ten episodes when the first series of Avatar um, was like 24, 23 episode, uh, episodes a season. Um, but a lot of things are happening in this. Lynn Beifong just had her bending powers taken away by Amon, and General Iroh is on his way to Republic City. So a lot of things going on in this series, a lot of things to look forward to, and you know, some of your favorite old celebrities are voicing these characters, so you might want to check it out. And the last thing we want to talk about in this episode of Advanced Comics is Brave. Uh, we are shooting this a little early, so we haven't watched Brave yet. It comes out Friday, and we're shooting this on Wednesday. But um, it looks to be like a great movie. It's got a lot of anticipation behind it. So let us know in the comments below if you went to the movie, um, what you liked about it, and what you'd like to see from Pixar from here on out. Uh, that was our last thing to talk about this week, so thank you for being on the show, Taylor. No problem. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. And if you're still counting down with us till the end of the world, you only have 24 weeks left.